Good morning guys, it's Laurie from Passionate Penny Pincher and I am not excited at all about today's project. However, I need to get mine done. I'm thinking maybe you need to get yours done too. It's also the last day to get your free cleaning supplies from the Grove Collaborative. So I will tell you about those. I'm hoping the video is working. It was not working a second ago, but I'm hoping we're on. Let me give me a harder like if you can see this and if you can hear me, that'd be awesome. I'll try to figure out the lighting as we go, y'all. The bathroom is my least favorite area to deal with, especially my bathroom. Mostly because while my kids' bathrooms are kind of gross, mine is the one that I tend to clutter and I know I hate it because I live in here. Like I have to be in here every single day. Good morning, Janelle. Hi, Caroline. So glad to see you guys. Okay, so let me tell you, I'm gonna show you the cleaning supplies I'm gonna use. I am gonna work on getting my sinks done, my shower door done, um, as much as I can get done before I have to leave um, to go get my son. I've gotta go pick up prom stuff. So, um, so let's see. Here's the deal with the cleaning supplies. This is what I'm using. Hi, Lori, so glad you guys. Thanks for letting me know that it's working this morning. There's my friend Stacy is on. Okay, so through today only, you can get your free cleaning supplies from the Grove Collaborative. And I actually forgot to bring up my box of free stuff. Um, actually, I do have, I have a set of it. I think I have a set of it. Right now, they're giving away a free, I do have a free, oh, so, they're giving away a free hand soap, a free multi-surface cleaner, and a free dish soap, which I actually have in here, thank goodness. Free dish soap, free hand soap. They're also giving away a really cute towel. You guys can't see that, can you? So they're giving these three things away for free as well as a really cute towel that I have downstairs. But I forgot to bring it because I'm a hot mess this morning. Okay, so that's what they're giving away for free. You can also, you do have to spend $20 to get that deal. A couple of the items that I'm using this morning that could get you to that $20 um, pretty easily would be this vinegar gel, which I love. Um, the toilet bowl cleaner, I do not like. I do not like the toilet bowl cleaner in um, the lemon verbena scent. I do like it in the lilac, so that's the one I'm gonna use today. Um, you could also get the um, tub and tile cleaner, which is a great one you could use in your bathroom as well. Um, or the one that I'll be using today a bunch is the glass cleaner. So those are a few of the things that I really love to use. Guys, as you're hopping on, hit the share this button and let someone know that um, about the deal and also maybe they'll join us for the cleanings challenge. Also, um, if you hit that share this button, we will enter you to win a $25 Amazon gift card. And if you order a set of these and post a picture of your box on Passionate Penny Pincher, once you get your box by next Wednesday, we will enter you to win a free box of cleaning supplies. Okay, so who is ready? Good morning, Cassandra. I am so excited you're getting your grove. That's so fun. Where is the vinegar oil? If you cannot find the vinegar oil, you might have to look it up. Look up, let me know if someone found the vinegar oil. Look up vinegar gel. Look up the vinegar gel. That's the one we're looking for. I also like the baking soda cream cleanser. Caroline, you gotta work, but you're getting it done this weekend. Good job. Thank you, Sandy, for sharing. I appreciate you so much. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here with my mirror. Um, so I gotta, I've got all these supplies here. So um, this is a mirror that we got from actually from my in-laws. It was in their basement forever. And it's my favorite thing. And this thing is not open this morning. There we go. Um, this is really hard to do. I feel like I'm kind of in the dark because the light, if I turn the light on, what happens? Oh, that light does not work. Well, maybe it'll work. The problem is then you guys see the light in the background. Okay. Um, this mirror was like probably a $5 mirror. And so um, it sat in their basement of their house forever. I absolutely love it. If you don't have a mirror in your bathroom like this on the back of your door, this was the best $10 fit. It was, well, it was free for us, but you could buy one for five or 10 bucks. Um, but I'm really bad about keeping it really clean. And for some reason, there are some stains on it, so it never gets totally clean. I have tried and tried, um, but I'm gonna get that done today. Oh, thank you, Caroline. This was my outfit from a Stitch Fix box yesterday. Okay, so I'm not gonna do my mirrors, but I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do this mess. And then we're gonna actually, y'all look. This is the mess that I deal with all the time. How many of you guys have, this, it's not that bad right now, because I did tidy it up some. But that and underneath the cabinets are the worst. So that's what I'm gonna work on this morning. Um, I can also use this. I did buy the caddy from Amazon. I like it. I'm not obsessed with it. I wish I could find some of the same thing, a little bit heavier. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna spray this out really fast, really quickly. And I know you guys are like seeing the back of me, which I always hate when people see the back of me on Facebook, but it is what it is. Okay, so let me know, and I would love for you to be doing it with me. Did you get the 
the vinegar gel baking soda cleaner. Tony got it. You will love that stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna do my sinks out. And actually, you know what I'm gonna use on the top of this? I told y'all about this stuff. It is the best. It is the daily granite. I love, 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 love the daily granite. So I'm gonna use that, that on my granite. Um, and this needs to go away. This is what I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna put that there because it's, this is my problem. And this is what we're gonna tackle the most today. I promise. After I get, I also like this. This is the multi-surface cleaner. Um, this is what I normally use every day to wipe down my sinks with. Um, it's my favorite. I like the mint, I like the lemon bluebell, or I'm sorry, the lemon verbena, and I like the bluebell, and I love the honeysuckle. Oh, that feels so good. Okay, so if you're watching, I want you to be doing the same thing on your side of the screen. Don't you love the daily granite, Lori? It's the best, isn't it? Karen, I hate to clean the bathroom too, but we're gonna go do the toilet right now because why wouldn't we do the toilet? Is there something you can use to clean your oven? I would try the vinegar cleaner or the baking soda cream cleaner would be my one. Show us your son's name. He is at school right now, but he will be getting his tux shortly. He actually got his tux last night, but it's a little bit, oh, they're gonna be like showing y'all too much. I hope you did not just see way too much. Hope that did not just look really bad. Okay, hopefully y'all did not see way more than you needed to see. We're gonna go in there. We're doing the bathroom. Okay, here is, I am using the Mrs. Meyers Lavender Scent Toilet Bowl Cleaner. Um, Y'all, the toilet, thankfully, in our bathroom, we're grown ups, obviously, so it doesn't get too, too, too bad. Um, but it needs to get done. And if you're at your house and watching this, you need to be doing this too. Like, I should not be doing this by myself, okay, guys? So this is the worst of it. I can't believe I'm doing my toilet on Facebook Live, but, you know, I am. So there you go. And I'm actually gonna... We have to all do toilets. Toilets happen. They're just the reality of life. I'm gonna go wash my... Well, let me scrub the bottom, then I'll wash my hands. Okay. If you are watching this, I hope that you are inspired in doing the exact same thing at your house. Um, because if you're just watching me be crazy on Facebook Live while doing this, that is not any fun at all. Now we're going to tackle the big part as soon as I wash my hands. Okay, come on over here where we are going to work on the part that I'm dreading. This is the part that I do not want to do. Um, and I'm hoping... Can y'all see that? Who else has a cabinet that they're afraid of? Thank you, Karen, for sharing. You, Amy, I would be cleaning in my PJs if I was not on Facebook Live this morning. And I, if I didn't have to go to the text place in like 27 minutes. So, you know, we gotta get it done though. So this is, this is the mess right here. Ugh, it is awful, it is awful. So we're gonna tackle this. How many of you guys have a mess like this? You're spending the day cleaning the kitchen. Good job, Linda, I'm excited for you. Okay, so, uh, I just, this, uh, I do this and then I just, it never gets done and I think it's done and it's not really done and it ends up back where it is. We don't have any drawers in our bathroom, so the only thing we have is these cabinets. So one would think that I would keep them more organized, but I don't at all. Y'all, this is what it looks like. You felt great after you tackled it. This is your bathroom cabinet. Okay, we're gonna get this done today. Okay, so guys, if you're watching, who's watching on a mobile device? If you are on the other side of the screen and you are watching on a mobile device and you are drinking your coffee, like I wish I was drinking my coffee right now. Hang on, let's see if we can get this. If you are doing that, if you are over there drinking your coffee, um, go do this too. Somebody says they don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it either. I think I have too many things. I have not used this in forever. This is what I'm gonna to do today. I'm gonna to make a donation pile, I'm gonna make a trash pile, and then I'm gonna make a save pile. Um, Cause there are legitimately things that I need to keep. But this, I do not need to keep. This is a Estee Lauder free little sample I got. This is another one, they're probably almost gone. This is a smoothing eye concentrate. If I had used this, I wouldn't have dark circles, but they do. Tell me to throw this away. 
This is a hard one to throw away. I don't think I can throw it away. Get you some organization. I need some organization, you're not kidding. These are extra shampoos that my kids will use. Oh look, there's a whole bottle of hairspray. I probably bought hairspray because I don't go under here because I hate it so much. Here's a bucket that I got from the Dollar Target. I'm gonna donate that. I don't know why I have that. Um, here is keto test strips for when I was trying to be perfectly keto. I kind of do keto, but not perfectly anymore. Um, bath soap, I can save somewhere else. Okay guys, who else needs to do this? This is a big thing. I'm gonna actually do this today. I have an extra wand and an extra blow dryer. I'm gonna take these down to our guest bedroom because they would love, if you're a guest, it's so nice when you know when you go to a house and they already have a blow dryer for you in the cabinet. I'm gonna go put that in the guest bathroom. Could your husband inside? You know, we have talked about, Tony, Tammy, we've talked about, if y'all look up here, do you see that? We've got a pretty good amount of space up there. I think we have talked about possibly moving the sink to the middle, getting rid of the, um, getting rid of the chair completely, because that's just silly. I don't know if you can see there's a chair over there, and just making it one big thing. So yeah, we're thinking about that. That's a progress pro a project that's in our possibility. Oh look, does anybody know who needs this? This is tempting to keep that because yeah, it's gonna be somewhere out soon and I'm gonna need more. This is a nasty hairbrush that needs to go in the trash bin. Oh, y'all. More lotion. This just makes me sad. Oh, this is some good... Okay, some of these are good things. I'm gonna, I am going to keep the basket, so don't worry. Can y'all see? Toss it. Dana says, I should say, ask you guys what to toss and what not to toss. Some of this is excess stuff that, like, I really will need. But it all goes in here... Uh, we're gonna toss a bunch of this. Y'all, okay. these are checks. These are checks from a bank account that I had nine years ago. I'm gonna throw those away, but I'm gonna get rid of them. I do. I need bas. The problem, Joy, is that with the baskets, then it's just one more place to throw stuff on the baskets. I am tossing a bunch of bank up. Actually, like like this. Y'all, tell me it's okay to toss the makeup. Who else feels like this? You're getting what? What did you say? You're getting in the pitch mode. I am getting in the pitch mode. I need a rake. You're exactly right. I do need a rake. Y'all, I'm going to throw away makeup. I'm going to throw away some of this makeup that I won't use. Okay. I'm going to go into pitch mode. Skin enhancer. And this is one thing as a penny pincher. How many of you guys sign up for great freebies and then you get these little tiny things and you don't use them? Um, I don't love that. That is one thing. Throwing them away, but it's very hard. Y'all, it is very hard. You can't wait to get your cleaning supplies. Amy, you will love your cleaning supplies. If you're not using it, it's just clutter. Thank you. Who just said that? I'm not using it. Okay, I'm throwing it away. I'm throwing it away. It's painful, but I'm throwing it away. Oh, look, there's a pair of scissors. I probably need those. Oh, I'm throwing it all away. Throwing it all away. Another pair of scissors. I do need those. If you haven't used it in six months, throw it away. Okay, y'all. How many of you guys are super frugal out there and you watch the show Hoarders? How many are frugal and watch um, Hoarders? Because I know I'm not the only one. The issue is, I'm not a hoarder, honestly. I promise. I'm really not a hoarder. Most of our house is pretty clean. Um, but I struggle because I know how much it takes to get something. Oh, look. I'm gonna get young if I use this. Anti-firming. You can't throw stuff out. You can't watch hoarders or you can't throw stuff out. Donate, okay. I'm getting rid of a bunch of it. I'm going fast. I'm gonna feel so good when you guys, we're doing this. You guys have to tell me too, how close is it to nine o'clock? You can't watch hoarders. It makes my skin crawl too. But I can see how that starts. Like I can see how, especially if you're really frugal and you're afraid to spend money, like me, how you have a pair of glasses. <laughs> Can you see these? I got these glasses for $3, well, $6, I think, on one of those websites, but I don't have any other glasses. I, I finally just now got a pair of glasses. I'm gonna those. Okay, so that's what happens. I think that's what happens with hoarders. I've got 25 minutes, Stacy. thank you. If I'm not there for my son, if I do not leave this house at 10 o'clock, I'm gonna have 
a very grouchy 18 year old. Okay. I'm feeling close. 834, y'all are awesome. Okay, so I have a little bit of time. I have to leave. It's, and tell me, what are you guys doing today? Are you cleaning a project like this today? Do you have something like I do today that you have to get to? Um, this is a receipt. Oh, look, there's more stuff that's going to make me beautiful. Wrinkle smoothing cream. I may keep that because I actually do like those. Um, I also, here's a big question for you. This is a big one. I... I gave up, I am switched to the contact lenses that you change every single day. So I have a brand new bottle of Clean Care. I'm gonna throw out the old bottles. Um, so my question is, do you, that kind of stuff is the hard stuff, like I'm obviously, I don't need that, I'm gonna donate it. Um, I'm hoping there's nothing crazy in here. This is the thing that, this is what I use for my toothbrush, which I do love my toothbrush. Um, You've been, you're going to clean the bathroom, Kim. I'm so glad. This is so not exciting to watch. And I know this is the most boring Facebook Live ever, um, but I hope it inspires you to maybe just hop up and get something done today. Because if you're like me, it is worth it to just get it done. Have anybody used this dry shampoo? Anybody use dry shampoo? There you go. I've never used it. I'm not going to keep it. I bet I've had this because it's pretty. I bet I've had that for... Ever. I know I've had this. I got this for free at CVS, so thank you, CVS. But I haven't used it. I'm gonna donate it. This is an old charging cord that's been beaten up. Here's a pen and a bunch of metal. Here's some really nice Clinique. I'm gonna keep this. Oh, a brand new tube of toothpaste. I'm definitely keeping that. Okay, y'all. I've been feeling very liberated by throwing this stuff away. Um, you see, we got to the bottom of the bucket. Game, you like the dry shampoo? I'm not somebody who can use dry shampoo, I don't think. My hair gets super oily. Um, okay, we're getting closer. Uh, y'all just let me know when I'm getting close on time. So good when this is done though, and this will be such a big thing done. You put the extra bottles of new stuff in your yard sale. That's a great idea, Tina. What a great idea. Guys, don't forget, you can also get, even though today I'm obviously just decluttering right now, you can get free cleaning supplies um, at the link at the top of the video. I should put those over here so you can see them. You get a free hand soap, a free dish soap, a free um, Mrs. Myers hand soap, dish soap, Mrs. Myers. Uh, dish, hand soap, dish soap, lotion, and a dish towel. So click the link in the video and grab your free stuff. You guys love that. You switched one shampoo. Okay, you guys love the dry shampoo. Really? That's just not a thing that I've ever been interested in. Okay, I'm going to keep this. So here's what I'm going to do that's my big decluttering trick that I'm going to try out today. I have four bags. Do you see this? I'm gonna donate these three because I really only like this one. I don't need four, so I'm getting rid of it because I'm not gonna be on Hoarders one day. Y'all are not gonna see the next video of Facebook Live there on Hoarders. You signed up for that deal. Oh, I'm so glad. Can you really pin? If you look at the comments in the top of the video, it should be working. Y'all, this is empty. Why do I have empty stuff? This is feeling really good. Um, if you look in the comments, we can put a comment in. Hannah's on the other side. She should be able to put a comment maybe for the free stuff. I'm going to keep this little one because I do like that one too. It's also a green spade. Okay. I'm feeling very uh, much better. Oh, there's extra contact lenses. down to one bucket. I'm feeling good, guys. I'm feeling like I'm going to make it on time wise. This feels amazing to get it done. Like, amazing. Oh, this is going to be the hardest bucket, I think, though. Because these are all really good products. I'm going to throw this one out because I don't think that one's a good product. Okay. This is hard. This is the hard part right here. Are we ready, guys? Do they send you the products? No, Sally, you can pick your products every month and you don't have to get it every single month. You can get the Grove stuff once every um, quarter. You can get it whenever you want it. It's 9.40. Okay, I'm good on time. This is hard. Okay, so. 
I don't think I'm going to be able to get much, rid of much of this. Yes, I am. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this toner. It's poor minimizing toner that I've never used. Um, uh, the Launch Gel Mousse. These are a lot of really high-end products that people have sent me that um, all the launch stuff, I just don't use it. I probably should use it. I'm going to keep a lot of these because they really are things I'd like to try. Aveda Style Prep. What is that? Infuses hair with all-day weightless volume. Does anybody know if I need this? It's the Aveda Pure Abundance Style Prep. Anybody know? You're a thrower. Throw it out. All of it, these are like full size things. I'm gonna throw a couple of them out. I mean, like one day, my kids are gonna need gel, like pure gel. Aveda, I know Aveda is so good, I can't throw away the Aveda. There's leave in conditioner, which would be nice in the summertime. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let myself keep this one basket. Is that okay? Can I keep that? Donate. Y'all say donate all of it. I really don't use it. Okay, okay. I'm gonna donate, not all of it, but a lot of it. What do y'all say? Don't say, Cindy, Cynthia says get rid of it. I'm gonna keep the very, the few things that I know are really quality, which I feel like is all of it. Ugh, this is so hard. This is when a frugal girl struggles. This is when the frugal girl just struggles. Keep it, keep half, Kim says. Okay, we're gonna do with half, okay. Caroline loves this stuff. I don't know why it's even in here. It should be in her room because it's awesome stuff. It's a, this is called, it's Kira Blow Dry Spray and she adores it and so I'm gonna do it. Keep what I use, don't eat the rest. A lot of it I should use, I just don't. I'm gonna get rid of, no, I'm gonna keep it. Okay, so there's that. Um, we're closer. So I'm gonna put the few things in here that are stock up that kinds of things into this one basket. And then like things that I should reuse. And then hopefully I'm gonna remember it's all here. Okay, so not perfect, but better. Um, oh, what do y'all think? Do you, I can see the bottom, which is exciting. Um, I think we're close. Okay, so the reason I keep an extension cord in here, this is super strange, is because when we've done Facebook Live with hair things, it's nice to have our stuff right there. So I am gonna keep an extension cord, which I know is just bizarre, and normal people would not do that, but you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna throw that, keep that. And I can use it, maybe. Okay, there we go. So I think that's better. It's way better. And then, I still have this cute basket. I have this cute basket. I can put my blow dryer in, because I do use these. Where'd my good blow dryer go? I'm gonna put these away here. There we go. I feel, I know this doesn't probably feel like major to you guys, um, but it is a lot less. I'll show you guys what I threw away. Hang on. Gonna make sure I get it all though. There are some things that we do use just like, like if you have a daughter who's got, gonna have like prom or a fancy night, you kind of want her to have cute things. Keep the hair tools only with the cord. Oh, with the cord, yeah, I think I'm gonna try that. We'll see. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna put, I am gonna put the extra ponytail holders in there. I'm gonna keep them. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna donate all of this. So here is my box of throwaway stuff. That's a pretty good size box. It's actually my Stitch Fix box. It's 9.43. Thank you, Caroline, for the update on time. So there's my box of stuff to get rid of. Not too terrible. Um, I have a few more things I kinda need to clean up a little bit more here, but I'm close. And I got it done while y'all watched, which was kinda fun. Um, I'm gonna donate this. No, I'm not, because I actually just ordered that blush and I wanna remember that I have it. Um, there we go, so it's not perfect, but it's better as I'm like struggling. I may keep the little bucket for the smaller things. Because there are little things that we just, that I still need. So, there you go. 
It's not perfect. It is much better. It's much, much, much better. Okay, I think we're good. There we go. Doesn't that look better? It's better. I mean, that's gonna have, I, I think I have to have that much space. Um, and y'all are gonna laugh. As some of you guys know, I've struggled forever with my weight, so I have a little weight tracker here that keeps my measurements forever and ever, so it's like 10 years of weight measurements, which is pretty funny. Um, I think that's it, though. So, let me tell you about the Grove real fast and tell you what the freebies are. Oh, I'm gonna keep this back in there. Hang on. There are a couple more things I do wanna keep close by. Okay, so it's not perfect, but it's pretty darn close, and it was done pretty fast. Rollers in the basket with straightener. Oh, I could put the rollers in the basket. That's a good idea, Missy. Thank you. I need to do that. Okay, so how many of you guys have joined us for our spring cleaning challenge? I hope you've joined us, and I hope it's helped you and encouraged and inspired you to get some of this stuff done, because if you're like me, it's so easy to let it go, and then it gets so far gone, and so much that you can't keep up with it. I'm gonna tell you about the free cleaning supplies. I'll answer any questions y'all have. Thank you for hanging out with me as I sat here and cleaned up my messy bathroom. I'm excited to have that much done. So the free products they're giving away right now are a free dish soap, a free hand soap, and a free lotion, which I think I've moved somehow. Free dish soap, hand soap, and lotion. Is that right? No, 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 it's not. It's a free, it's this. Sorry. It's a free dish soap, hand soap, and multi purpose spray. You can, um, all, you will also get a free dish towel. You get all of that for free right now. It's only through. This is like your last chance. So if you've been debating it, they're going to let it. I think this will be the last live that I probably talk about it. This is it. They are getting rid of it. It is such a good deal. Um, it is the best way to use products. It is cheaper than Amazon, Target, and Walmart. You also get to choose your spring cleaning scents. So you can decide, do I really want um, these fancy scents? The peony scents smells so yummy. I don't know if it's still in stock. Hopefully it's still in stock if you haven't tried it. I feel like these cleaning products, you know the thing is they make you feel great about cleaning. And that is if you're like me and struggle with keeping it all together, it really can be such a blessing to you. So if you are struggling with cleaning and you need to get your stuff pulled together and you need to be inspired, I encourage you to grab this box while it lasts. Um, you just came on from Idaho. I'm so glad. Did you order your box, Casey? I am, and I saw it was snowing in Idaho, which is ridiculous. And I think we're supposed to get the snow you guys have. We're supposed to get it soon, which is craziness. Um, I'll answer any other questions. I'm going to clean up the rest of my mess while I wait to see the questions. If there are any, I'm going to put all my stuff back in my box and then I'm going to tidy up the rest of the space. And I still have just a few minutes. What are the favorite scents? I'd love to hear your favorite scents. Um, but my favorites are honestly, the bluebell is amazing. The peony is amazing. The honeysuckle. Those would be my top three. Bluebell, honeysuckle, and, um, peony. So those are my favorite three. I like the mint. That's this one. I love the way the mint looks. I also do like that one. You guys like the bluebell. Darlene, isn't the bluebell so yummy? It's just one of the best. I really do like that one. Kim, yours is coming. Guys, you're gonna be so excited. You love the basil. I, you know what I don't love? I didn't love the basil. The basil was not my favorite. You pick up your lilac. I like the lilac, that's a good one. Um, Becky, I if you're debating it, I think try it and see what you think about it. for. The nice thing is you can order this month and get your free stuff, and then you can skip um, as many as often as you want. So like I'll order, and then I usually do it on a quarterly basis. Like I don't need more cleaning supplies than that. So I order them once a quarter, and I have plenty, and I love that they're giving you free shipping right now as well. So for like $20, you can get like nine cleaning supplies, which is pretty incredible because they're high-end stuff. It's not like Dollar Tree stuff. It's nice, expensive stuff, which is great. Monica, you got your box and love it. Somebody asked what the Bluebell smells like. It's just very fresh. It smells really... Um, it's very fresh. I do think the lavender is a little stronger scent. So if you don't like lavender, I don't know if I have that one. Oh, here's the bluebell. I love the bluebell. Um, the lavender is a little bit stronger. So if you don't like a stronger scent, I probably wouldn't do that. I, Stacy, I like the peppermint. It makes me feel like Christmas though. I love the, I love, 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 love the bluebell. Really, really like that one. It's a great one. So I think if you like these products, this is the best way to get a deal, good deal on them. You can definitely do cleaning supplies for less money, for sure. Um, it would be cheaper to um, use vinegar and water, so you can absolutely do that. Um, but 
if you if you want to be inspired and encouraged if you're going to spend money on cleaning supplies like this this is the only way to do it smell a vision dana who why have they not offered that yet oh felicia i'm so glad you got your box and loved it you usually love lavender but theirs is awful it's just a little stronger i think it's a little bit stronger um lavender than the others i am so excited to have so much fun in my bathroom right now i got this little thingy from holler and i love it and i keep my contact lenses in it for the morning so I'm gonna put those in while we finish up and I know I'm getting close on time I gotta go pick up my son so he got the cutest tux yesterday and he looks so handsome promise tomorrow night he looks the cutest um, his date is super cute too and so I've got to go pick him up because his tux is a little bit it's a little bit short in the sleeves and a little bit short in the length and so we're trying a little bit narrow and so I'm wondering does anybody know do you think they'll be able to get us a new tux like we have, Stacy says, I've got 10 minutes. We have to have a new tux by tomorrow night. I don't know if they, the pants fit great. It's just the jacket. It's just a little bit small. And I was thinking, I thought, well, it's just a rental. You just suck it up and you take the rental. And then I was like, this rental is not cheap. It costs a fortune. If he doesn't feel great about it, he needs to do that. Becky, I will post a picture of prom for sure. You're going to get, oh, Dana, you're getting a prom dress today. I can't even wait till my girls go to prom because picking up the boy stuff is so fun. Um, but I just don't want to spend, like the tux rental was like, I want to say $200. It was ridiculous how expensive it was. And I was like, I'm not going to spend $200 and not love it. Vicki, you said the lavender, um, the lavender dish soap is your favorite. Susan, you think they'll be able to replace that tux? The only thing I'm wondering is if every child in all of the district, like we have 20,000 kids in our desk district. I mean, there's probably... A couple thousand boys going to prom this weekend. How do they get enough? To, how will they have enough? He needs to feel awesome. Dana, is that cheap for a tux? I was shocked. It was two hundred dollars. I almost had a heart attack. I was like, really? We're just renting it. We're not like buying it. Um, yeah, that was really. It seemed really high to me. So, but y'all are saying no. That they're too expensive. They can get it right. That's what I'm thinking too. I know. I can't even wait till they pick out a dress. And I know it's gonna cost a fortune. I will tell you. You know where we found the best dress for my daughter for homecoming. If you have not checked out this site, it is amazing. Promgirl.com. Promgirl.com. Best dresses um, ever. Kim, you said they can overnight a new jacket. Yes, Stacy, we got, okay, I got Caroline's dress with shoes, shoes, dress, and everything for less than I'm spending for this tax rental. Not even kidding. Plus, because he's the boy, it was so funny. And y'all can tell me what you think. He's been dating this little girl for about like six months and they're very, they are super sweet. They don't really date. They like, I mean, they text each other, but they don't go out very much. They're both super busy. And so they're just, they just like, each other. they're just friends. So anyways, we were talking about the price of everything and someone says, Marla, that's what I'm wondering. I think it is more expensive to send a boy to prom. So my feeling was, he said, mom, do I buy the prom ticket? I said, you absolutely buy the ticket and you pay for dinner because you're the boy. Like you have to do that. So sure enough, um, so we're going to pay for the ticket for prom and the dinner, um, or he's going to pay for the ticket for prom and dinner. He's also going to wash his dad's car and try to, you know, pull up in something besides his ugly truck. But do you all make, do you think boys, I think boys should buy the tickets for the girls. I'm just old fashioned that way. So he's, he's buying it. Um, but so between the tux rental, which is like I said, right at 200, maybe even a little bit more plus buying the prom tickets. So the prom tickets are 50 a piece, 50 a piece. So that's a hundred. So that's three. And then what was the other thing? There's prom tickets and then dinner, obviously. And all, I mean, it's, oh, and then corsages. But we found a cute little local place that's going to do the corsages and they're so cute. Yes, he got the girl flowers. So listen to this. This is my favorite thing too. We found, we went, there's a local place that does flowers and she doesn't do a lot of corsages. It's a very high-end snooty place. We do not go in, like I don't ever go in except this time of year because I can't afford it. It's called The Proper Garden. It's in um, Columbus, Ohio. It's gorgeous. Like you feel like you just want, like it makes Chip and Joanna Gaines look ugly. Like it is gorgeous. Most nice, beautiful stuff. There's the sweetest little florist there. And so we went and picked out a bracelet for her. So we picked out like a bracelet that was like $8 at Charming Charlie's. And um, she's going to put the flowers on that. So if you still spent more Stacy for your girls, I am telling you, I did not expect I mean, I think we'll still be right around five to 600 by the whole, whole time prom is over. What time is it? Somebody just said, yours isn't. Probably not, let's see, 200, 100 for prom tickets, 300. But at least that includes the shoes on the tuck. So it did include the shoes. Um, flowers, I'm thinking we'll spend 50. So that's 200, 300, 350. And then dinner, 
probably, maybe they'll spend 50, I don't know. So maybe under 500, okay. Stacy says I have five minutes. Okay, thank you Stacy. you're the best. Okay guys, so get your free cleaning supplies. I think you're gonna love these. Oh, 9.55, y'all. Caroline, y'all are the best ever. Because you know, if I'm late for this, he's gonna be grouchy. You think your prom tickets were 30. I cannot believe prom tickets are 50 bucks. Oh, Stacy said alterations on a dress. That's why, okay, so I'm telling you, promgirl.com, we bought Caroline's dress, $100. It fit perfectly. Like, it was perfect. Um, yeah, I gotta go. You're right, Stacy. So, grab your cleaning supplies. You will love them. Be inspired to go get some cleaning done, and you guys will have an amazing day. You guys, I'll talk to you soon. Um, have an awesome day. Bye-bye.